Hey guys, how are you doing? So, today's video uh, we're having a look at the Yuji from Shuriken Yoyo. -Yo. Can you see that? That's my cat which is climbing on the door for a minute. So the Juji from Shuriken Yoyo, which is this Yoyo right here, it's an oversized Yoyo with a very singular shape here. Uh, but before we jump into the review, so make sure to subscribe and to like because this really supports me as a YouTube channel. So shout out uh, to Ken from Shuriken Yoyo to send in this one over to me. And um, there are still. Uh, some pieces on stock uh, in uh, at Yoyo Sam and uh, Yoyo Rewind, so I'll leave the link in the description where you can buy those. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the review. Juji oh, come in this nice paper box with Shuriken logo on it. I got the orange version, as you can see. It's a color that I really like. I was told by Ken that the throw comes with uh, original throw fat string and I really appreciate it, it's a good string. Yo you got a diameter of 58.98mm, a width of 52mm and a gap width of 4.6mm. It is made out of 768 aluminum and only weighs 61.75 grams. It comes with center track bearing and 19mm standard pads. The profile near the bearing reduces string drag and makes this yo-yo surprisingly good for horizontal play. The finish and the overall manufacture are really nice. These cuts uh, are visible on both sides of the cup and are really nice to the touch. The center has this little spike and it will be good for finger spin, not for matador though, it's too small of a spike. The rim has this cut and it's not super thick but it's thick enough that gives a good rim weight to the yo-yo. As far as engravings, there is this minimalistic Juji Shuriken here on the cup and it's in uh, one cup only. Yeah, so super light, it's super comfortable in hands and let's give it a throw. First impressions, big, lightweight and powerful. This yo-yo really impressed me for how it's lightweight despite its dimension. It really floats through the strings. Super catchable and super smooth as well. It has a decent spin time not heavily rim weighted, uh, I would say it's a nicely balanced, fun yo-yo. As far as grinds are concerned, the finish on this yo-yo is really good for them. Uh, the shape locks your fingers in, palm grinds are nice and stable, and thumb grinds are also comfortable despite the lack of an IRG. If you are into finger spins, you'll find this yo-yo very good for them. I know DNA is the new walk the dog, but I don't give a f I find it uh, really fun and really satisfying to throw, so I will keep throwing it. Rejections are decent, uh, not the best shape for them, but you can certainly perform them without any big issues. Regions are surprisingly good. Uh, I think it's thanks to its uh, steep walls that keeps help driving the string straight out of the yo-yo. Yeah, found them really satisfying to throw. Um, yeah, not this one, but uh, this was not the yo-yo, this was me. For horizontal, uh, I guess uh, it would play super nicely in capable hands. I'm not really in the position to judge, but I found it kind of stable in horizontal play. Brand stalls, hooks and this kind of tricks are easy on this yo-yo, uh, thanks to its uh, big catch zone. Tech tricks are also not bad at all. I didn't find this yo-yo to be bulky despite its uh, dimensions. Overall a super fun yo-yo. 
At a price point of 60 euros, I can highly recommend it. You will have a lot of fun with it. I am Diego B. Thanks for having spent a bit of time with me today. So long.